and thank you very much indeed. Now the rest of the day's news and there's another sign that small manufacturing firms in the region are expecting to grow and recruit. A survey to be unveiled next week will show a big increase in companies saying that business is on the up. It comes as one engineering firm opens a new £5 million steel cutting plant. Mike O'Sullivan reports. The future is looking bright for Corton Engineering at Moor Green in Nottinghamshire. The managing director told me the company's invested £5 million in what they call the Cut Shack, kitted out with state-of-the-art steel cutting equipment. We're already taking on 20 more people. We'll probably be taking on some more if the market improves still further. And this week we saw another six apprentices arrive in our accredited training academy. The company now employs 230 people. They have a healthy order book at a time when small manufacturers are reporting better prospects. A survey by the government's manufacturing advisory service due out next week will show that 64% of small firms expect to recruit staff, up 22% on last year. And 73% expect to grow over the next six months, up 10%. There's definitely a huge future, um, providing your company is willing to progress you through. Like, I started on the shop floor as a fabricator welder. I'm now training to be a quantity surveyor. As it stands, with the, with the improvements that not only our company, but the other companies are making, it has a very strong future. Corton built their new plant with a £250,000 grant from the government's regional growth fund. Being a family business, we, we do take a bit of a longer-term view through an economic cycle, and we took the view that things can't stay this bad forever. And at some point, we've got to make a move and we've got to re reinvest. And that was triggered in some part by the regional growth fund. It, it helped us along the way. The company started out as a blacksmith's in the village of Corton near Newark in the 1970s. Now they're turning over £40 million a year. Mike O'Sullivan, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottinghamshire.